In part three of the contour plots and color mapping tutorial, I will show you how to create a contour plot from XYZ data. I'm going to import a sample file. I need to assign the data as XYZ, so I highlight the third column, right click on it, and set as Z. I'm then ready to graph the data. With that column highlighted, I click on the Plot Contour menu, XYZ Contour. You can view the triangulation grid that is used to create a contour plot from the data. The individual data points are located at the nodes or vertices of the grid. I need to create a new worksheet and import another one of our sample ASCII files. Repeat the steps for setting the plotting designation. And again create a direct contour plot. I'll double click on the contour plot to open the plot details dialog. Clicking on the line heading opens the Contour Lines dialog, and I can select Hide All to hide all the contour lines. I'll then check the Show Grid Lines and Show Data Points checkboxes, and click the OK button to close the Plot Details dialog. You're now viewing the contour plot with its superimposed grid. A custom boundary can be applied to contour plots created directly from XYZ data, where you provide the data points for the boundary as an additional column in the same worksheet. This feature is useful when you have specific boundary data that defines the outline of an object, such as, say, the profile of an engine and the contour shows engine temperature. I'm going to continue with the data in this worksheet. I'm going to right click to add a new column and in fact repeat this step to add an additional column. I'll then highlight these two columns and set as XY. I'm then going to enter the following data. I'll now go back to my graph, double click on it to again open the Plot Details dialog, select the Contouring Info tab, and choose Custom Boundary, where the boundary X data is coming from column D and the Y data from column E. I want to uncheck the Show Grid Lines and Show Data Points. Let me double click on the plot, which brings me back into the Plot Details dialog, and just show you what it would look like if we had the grid lines on, or if we were displaying the data points. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.